All right, made my way over to the kitchen with Dr. Sandeep Samudre from Eastern Virginia Eye Institute and Samudre Institute. And we have Vanessa Bolin, the administrator for the Academy. Both of you, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us, Sandy. All right, so uh, what are you going to make for us today? We're going to make curry uh, king salmon from Alaska. Um, and we're going to stink the place up because <laughs> we have curry in the house. And uh, we're going to have uh, raspberry reduction on top of it served with a... A salad, a spring salad with oranges and walnuts. And this isn't just any dish. This yeah. has something to do with vision and the eyes, which Absolutely. you're going to talk a lot about Absolutely. too, yeah. and also about your book as well. Absolutely. All right, yeah. sounds good because my family has some eye issues. I'm going to be picking <laughs> a brain during the commercial break, so we'll get started on this so when we come back. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone, in the kitchen this morning with Dr. Sandeep Samudre, President, CEO, and Chief Innovator at the Eastern Virginia Eye Institute. And today we're cooking with all natural therapies for dry eye disease. You said I can call you Dr. Deep? Absolutely. Sure so uh, <laughs> welcome back. So first, before we get started, um, you're here more than just showing us how to cook salmon. Absolutely. This is all for a reason. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, we, uh, we at the Institute, we're an academic uh, center, so we wanted to show, you know, people just say, you know, you need to eat more of this, mm -hmm. more of that. But we would like to show people how to make s certain recipes. And for today, we're, we're focusing on dry eye disease. And a lot of folks uh, have dry eye disease. Yeah. And some people probably don't know they have dry eye disease. So uh, it's, it's a balance. Uh, I have dry eye because I wear contact lens. Mm -hmm. And we were just talking yeah. earlier. <laughs> I have contacts. Yeah. And you know, so I yeah. guess what, what are some things that would let someone know that they possibly do have dry eye disease? Well, it's uh, blurry vision, for example. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, tear film, which is the outermost layer of the, the eye, uh, sort of disintegrates um, and your eyes are not producing the quality tears. It's not just water. Tears are made up of complex uh, proteins and mucins and oils. Mm -hmm. So in dry eye, a lot of those dissipate. Uh, so you just produce water, for example. So if you're, even if you're tearing, you're not producing quality tears. Really? Um, so if you're that person always going to get eye drops, you could possibly very absolutely. well. Absolutely. Okay. And, and this Please. is not meant to uh, <laughs> you know, replace whatever your ophthalmologist says. Okay. But you know, if you can you know, change your eating habits a little, you can actually help the disease a lot. So, um, Which I take salmon is good for that. Salmon, uh, no salmon is a superfood. It's got plenty of omega-3s. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have turmeric uh, here as a spice. Which is what, this uh, one? It's, it's this yellow oh, this uh, spice right here. Okay. Uh, it's got a nutty flavor. It actually adds to the flavor. Uh, but it's a potent anti-inflammatory. And really? in dry eye disease, inflammation oh, wow. is what you treat. Um, and then the other one is, is walnuts. Walnuts are also okay. uh, high in, in omega-3s. Um, and we're, we're actually going to do a berry uh, raspberry reduction. And you might not know, when you think omega-3s, people automatically think fish oil, right? Mm -hmm. But berries actually have more uh, omega-3s uh, than fish do. Really? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So we're going to, we're sort of combined all of these ingredients and uh, we want to help uh, people suffering with dry eye. Well, I love so. it. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Right, um, so, so you already uh, talked about some of the seasonings. Yeah, I'll switch spots with you. Awesome. So we got uh, turmeric, so we're going to... Whip out the uh, measuring And you can spoon. buy this, what, just in your local grocery stores? Yeah, you can, you can buy it area? Yeah, at any okay. grocery store now. Uh, it used to be specialized, but um, if you can go to an ethnic store, Indian store, uh, they have fresh uh, spices available. So what I'm going to do is mix the turmeric, a okay. little bit of turmeric. Um, and the recipe is online. Uh, gotcha. I was going to say, someone yeah. out there, I'm sure, want to try right. this out. So this is uh, coriander. Um, this is where cilantro comes from, and it's got... A nice lemony oh, flavor yeah. to it. Oh, so, that smells really good. Uh, I can so tell. That's a good kind of stink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good. Uh, it's oxymoron. <laughs> and this is cumin. You can cumin. smell how fresh it is. I've yeah. freshly ground it this morning. I like it. And it also adds another flavor profile. So uh, curry powder uh, is just a misnomer for what we're going to do. Curry powder is, comes from curry leaves. Mm -hmm. But we're building the quote-unquote curry powder with cumin, coriander, and turmeric. And if you really want to heat it up, you can put some chili powder in there I was too. But say, for the spicy uh, <laughs> people, but we'll, we'll keep yeah, it we'll mild. Stay, we're stay good. We're good. So put some uh, salt and pepper in it too for for your taste, and okay. then we're gonna drizzle this spice directly on the salmon. I think this is so great. You know, you talk about something like dry eye disease, and rather than just saying, "Oh, I need eye drops," or I have to go to the doctor to get it treated, you're showing different foods that could potentially help. Absolutely, they, they some access, of the irri you know, yeah. being, it being irritated and things like that. Yeah, it's an it's an adjunct therapy. Because <laughs> that is no fun when your eyes <laughs> are. You need your eyeballs to see. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is uh, heat the pan up, real uh, on high, okay. for a few minutes. So gotcha. uh, you don't want to burn the salmon, and then. Um, this it's is not champagne. It's not champagne. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually walnut oil. Okay. And uh, you can actually do a quick substitution between olive oil and walnut oil. They've mm -hmm. got the same um, 
uh, smoking points, etc. But this actually helps your dry eye. So remember, I said the tears don't yeah. have uh, the the oils. This will kind of repl replenish. Love that oil. Uh, and so maybe a couple of teaspoons of okay. walnut oil, and that's all you do. You just pat so you season both sides of the salmon. I did. Okay. Um, I you know, you can get the salmon. Uh, make sure it's uh, the wild salmon. Uh, because the, there's been a controversy about omega-3s coming from uh, okay. with the mercury with the farm-raised salmon. Well, uh, I'm going to stop you right here. Yep. We don't want to throw it in the pot so we can still have some to save for the next segment. Absolutely. Because then the salad will take um, fairly quick. And we'll talk about your book Sounds as good. well um, you. when we come back in the second segment. Thank you so much, Dr. Deep. Appreciate it. Welcome back, everyone. Back in the kitchen this morning with Dr. Sandeep Samudre, a.k.a. Dr. Deep, President, CEO, and Chief Innovator at the Eastern Virginia Eye Institute. We're also joined by Vanessa Bolin, the Administrator for the Academy. Welcome <laughs> here to the show. Uh, we're talking about some healthy alternatives that will help with dry eye disease. Absolutely. And the salmon, we've seasoned it with the, you got to remind me of these uh, it's, it's got again. turmeric in it, it's got cumin and coriander and okay. salt and pepper to taste. On so both it's had, sides. On both sides. Gotcha. So it's got a little bit of time to marinate now, and we just got to fry it. Okay. Well, gotta, I'm ready. We've got <laughs> the walnut oil. Walnut oil heating yes. up in the pan. We should hear a nice little. <laughs> just about. <laughs> we, well, we we had it right. <laughs> we heard it. <laughs> Try not so to how long how fire. long do you want this to cook? Um, you know, just, just enough till it's brown. Okay. Because uh, if you overcook it, the salmon becomes dry, flaky. Mm -hmm. So you don't want that flaky. So just enough to where. Uh, it's moist. <laughs> gotcha. So the, the temperature should be around 120 degrees if okay. you want to be uh, scientific about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay, well, we'll let so, that go. So, so while, while the salmon's is cooking, here, yeah. so um, uh, remember I said earlier, uh, berries actually have a lot of omega-3s. Mm -hmm. So I've got, uh, I started cooking the raspberries, and so I've got about 12 ounces of raspberries cooked down with a quarter cup of sugar. Okay. And what I'm going to do is quickly put in some lemon juice. Okay. Some nice color too to Absolutely. add to your dish. And then, you know, I like a little bit of flavor, so just maybe zest it a little bit. A little bit. lemon zest. Yeah, um, yeah. And your salmon is sizzling over here, Dr. Deep. So. Uh, finally. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're just going to mix this down, and Vanessa's going to um, stir, stir the sauce in there. Gotcha. And, um, so is this the consistency of the sauce that, we, that you absolutely. wanted to? Yeah, okay. it's, it should be like ketchup. Okay. And it's got sort of the color of ketchup, but yeah. it's definitely more tastier. <laughs> than ketchup. So uh, what we want to, what I've actually done is uh, raspberries have a lot of seeds in them. Mm -hmm. Kind of difficult to eat the sauce with yeah, seeds. Yeah, how did you, I was going to say, how do you get around that? <laughs> Scientifically. Ah. No, no, we use a, we use a strainer. Oh, easy enough, easy <laughs> enough. <laughs> and then what we're going to do, um, so we're hitting dry eye uh, and omega-3s at several different fronts. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we usually don't recommend taking omega-3 pills because you don't know what the source is. So you're getting this omega-3 now from the salmon. Mm -hmm. You're getting anti-inflammatory effects from the turmeric. Raspberries got, uh, they have about 120 milligrams of omega-3 that you can really? get out of it. And don't forget the walnuts. Okay. <laughs> so got lots. So uh, even if you can't make this recipe every day, maybe eat a handful of walnuts every right, day. Right, right, okay. That will help maintain your omega-3s. And, and could and so you use the walnut oil? Like if you're doing some other, just you know, for any kind of, for like substitute for the olive oil? Exactly, okay. exactly. Cool. Just, just little that. things that can you know, help you uh, manage your dry eye. And, uh, and this is not a substitute for going to the ophthalmologist. That's one right. I make sure. <laughs> this, yeah, <laughs> make like, sure well, uh, Dr. Deep said I can just make salmon and water. Yeah, I, I don't have to go to the eye don't doctor. Don't call me. No, we're not saying that, absolutely. Right. But this can, uh, you know, help over time maybe a little, may, maybe make some little It just maintains. It's, an, it's yeah. an, uh adjunct is what we call gotcha. in, in our field. So, All right, so um, a salad over here. Vanessa's got, so what, some mixed greens over so there? So some mixed greens. Uh, I don't like uh, iceberg lettuce, but I like the, the spinach and all that stuff. So you can buy this at any grocery store. Mm -hmm. uh, and Vanessa's going to introduce some uh, cut oranges, just dump the whole thing in there. <laughs> there you go. Um, and we're going to get some walnuts in there. I love walnuts, by the yeah. way. <laughs> and I bet you can, what, like toast them? You can yes, put actually, some seasoning on them? Absolutely. You can make so, a whole bunch of different ways. Absolutely. So I've already seasoned the salad. Okay. And what we're going to do is take some of this raspberry reduction sauce and get some, uh, get some walnut oil okay. and some Dijon mustard. And I've actually done that ahead of time and just shake it to make a vinaigrette so you don't want to ah, use dressing so okay um, gotcha. uh, it's you know cuts down on the amount of fat mm -hmm. and you know, trying to get that natural look um, for the reduction you can actually use uh, the stevia or uh, honey I okay. use sugar just mm -hmm. because <laughs> yeah um, I want it a little bit sweet so here you go thank you 
Well, it's a great color, too. I mean, spring I like is red. just around the corner. <laughs> uh, clearly, but as I like, did y'all coordinate? Nobody sent me an email to wear the red. <laughs> uh, you know, beautiful spring salad, too. Absolutely. I, I, you know, it's, it's visually appealing. Yeah. And when, you know, you, you actually eat with your eyes first. You do. <laughs> Everybody makes fun of me for saying that. No, you, you, I'm like, you do eat with your eyes. You're about the fourth person that's confirmed that. Um, tell me, let's talk about your book really quick. Um, the title of it, what's it, what it's all about. Uh, it, the title is Natural uh, Strategies to Treat Dry Eye Diseases. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of misinformation about dry eyes, and there's a lot of old wives' tales about you got to do this, that. Mm -hmm. So I've taken, uh, I'm a researcher, and a nationally funded researcher, and over time uh, I've come across a few things. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically sat down and wrote what's important. So we're talking about the anatomy of the eye, what causes dry eye, where it's caused, where's the source of the oils that's, you know, that's mm -hmm. included in the tears. Uh, do you know the tear film has about five layers in it, which is wow. you, you stuff, know, like, that <laughs> stuff we would, like that. The average person would not know exactly. That. So, yeah. uh, and uh, there are a lot of therapies out there that some some of them work, um, some of them don't work, some of them maybe. Uh, for example, acupuncture, and we've done a clinical study on mm -hmm. acupuncture for dry eye, and it's shown uh, some improvement, hmm. uh, as much improvement as as some of the drugs that are available on the market. So, gotcha. just running through all the scenarios, and it's a comprehensive book, and then. Uh, we've got some recipes in there so that you can follow mm -hmm. uh, to, um, uh, Ooh, you What know. are some other recipes you do besides the salmon? Just, are there any, like... Oh, yeah. you got to buy the book, though. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was like, you give it away. Nice. <laughs> nice. So we've got a dozen, uh, dozen or so recipes wow. that directly okay. uh, target uh, dry eyes. Well, I'm all about this walnut oil. I'm going to go <laughs> pick me up some today. Um, you want to flip the salmon, maybe see what the other side looks like in the meantime. Absolutely. Eastern Virginia Eye Institute and Samudra Academy is at 2147 Old Greenbrier Road over in Chesapeake. The phone number is 354-2258. You can go online to evei.org, samudraacademy.org. Remember the book, Natural Therapies for Dry Eye Diseases, April in 15th. stores on April 15th. 15th. That is a good time, my friend, because that is two days after my birthday. Well, you know, See? you won't have dry eyes after tax day. No, right? you don't. <laughs> a lot of people, oh gosh, what do we owe? And Vanessa, thank you so much. Thank we'll you. have uh, some plates at the end and we'll taste it. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you so much.